Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yuri. Thank you guys so much for being here and clicking on my video. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe, join the family. So today I wanted to do this look. It's been so highly requested because I have been rocking this look nonstop for like an entire month. Like this is my go-to. It takes me like 10 to 15 minutes tops to get this done. It is um, some old favorite products that I, you know, they're still popping, they're still good for me. And then some new stuff that I've incorporated. And I really love this look. It's very bronzy, it's very natural for me. The lashes, I'm gonna hook you guys up with the lashes because I know that a lot of you guys have been asking me on, on my other social um, medias, what lashes have I been wearing? And um, yeah, so if you guys wanna see this look from start to finish, keep on watching. Okay, so first I need to pull my hair back i washed it yesterday i wash it once a week and um it's all like crazy right now just because i have no product in it but all right so now let's get started so this look is all about skin prep like truly everything about this will come down to the base okay because again if you are dry or if you are oily moisturize you guys make sure you guys put on some eye cream you guys know i'm big on that so first i am going to go in with eye cream now this one right here is from Dr. Jart and it's part of their water fuse collection so this is what this one looks like you guys can't even see what is the point of that well it's like a gel based um, eye cream which I love I do have oily skin but I think right now I'm a little combo or I've been combo for like a little bit um, because even though I'm oily I do have some dry patches and right now literally you guys I just washed my face and didn't put any moisturizer on or anything so I'm pretty, I'm feeling pretty like dry. So this is just all that I do. And as you guys can see, it literally just melts into your skin. It's not a cream, so you're not gonna have like, it doesn't feel heavy, you know? That's what I love about gel-based um, moisturizers and eye creams. Okay, so that's basically what I do. I bring it down just a little bit here my smile lines again eye cream is like really really hydrating for me and i just love it so that's what i do so now moving on to moisturizer i am going to apply some of my belief um moisturizer balm and i'm literally running out like i'm scraping the sides at this point so this is kind of what i do really really gently like i don't like to tug on my skin so much but just really really gently i like to just Make sure this is evenly distributed all over my face. Okay, so these next two things are optional, but I love them and I've been obsessed. And this one right here is from Elf Cosmetics. This is their Booster Drops. This is what this one looks like. They do have like a whole bunch of drops. They have one that will um, make you like bronzy like over time. It's like a self tanning um, oil, I guess is what it is. The other one is, uh, what's the other one? Damn, I forget. Um, I have it right here. Hold on. Let me open up my Alex drawer. And I have to tell you guys about, oh, by the way, look at my shirt. How cute is it? It's a SpongeBob shirt. Oh my God. Look. Okay. So it's this one right here. This one's the booster drop and this one's in sun kiss so i think this one's the one that's like a self tanner type, type of thing um if you guys are big on tanning but just not your face that one is good um and then this one is the booster drop antioxidant this one is the booster drop hydrating so whichever one but i've been loving the hydrating one so what i do and by the way this is a dupe for the uh for Sally ones swear to god this one is more like a gel almost like the makeup forever booster drops that's what this one reminds me of now i'm gonna take this right here this is the laura geller dew dreamer illuminating drops and this one is in the color ballerina um this is absolutely beautiful so these are just like your liquid highlighters but there's something different about this formula and i almost feel like it dries down to a complete powder like you almost don't have to set it afterwards but i like using this as a base because again, that's our biggest concern right now is base. And I don't know if I mentioned this, so I'm not gonna put it everywhere. I'm just going to basically just do that and then just start patting it here to the highest points of my face and anywhere else that I want some more brightness. So basically all under here, my forehead and my chin. 
Moving on to foundation. So you guys already know I love the NARS. This is a natural radiant long wear foundation. I wear the shade Stromboli. And I also love the Magic Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. I am in medium seven. And I do about like that much per cheek. This may seem like a lot, but again, we're gonna make it look very natural. So it's all good. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and then I'm gonna start pouncing this everywhere. And I like to use a beauty blender because I just feel like it shears out the foundation uh, just a tad bit, like enough to where it doesn't look cakey. See, it looks like skin. That's crazy. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD um, Stick Foundation. This is in the color Y505. My goodness, it is the most beautiful. Like this color right here is stunning and it's such a perfect like warm cream contour on me so i'm going to take the same beauty blender i've been using but now like the cleaner side and then again since this is like a stick i like to warm it up first and i'm not going to draw lines all over but i am just going to do this and kind of like rub my beauty blender in it and then i'm just going to okay so this is what i'm gonna do this is all that i do you see that color it is so nice okay so I'm just going to put my hair back a little bit and then start blending this I haven't set anything so this is all just cream and liquids so this is what I like to do now I'm taking a small beauty blender blush blender blush beauty mm, okay let's do this again this is a blush beauty blender I like to do the exact same thing and this is obviously going to go on at my nose so just on the tip and I like using this one just because it's much smaller of course now I'm going to take the same blender we've been using and my derma blend powder and I'm just going to apply the powder right under my eyes like so I'm also going to bring it to the sides of my nose after that, I like to come in with my Charlotte Tilbury, um, what's this one? The Airbrush Flawless Finish in Medium 2. And then I take a brush like this. This is the Morphe E3. And I'm just going to lightly set my face. Even my contour area, or where we bronze, where we used the foundation stick. Just going to set everything. Now I'm taking my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Contour, and this is in Tan to Dark. I'm just going to be using the same brush, the same brush, the E3, and dipping into the middle shade. And I'm just going to basically set my bronzing areas just to bring forward the warmth back to my face after the powder. This is my absolute favorite blush of all time. Like, I'm calling it... Because I literally would go crazy if I ever lost this. This is Bellini Brunch from the Gen Nude Powder Blush Collection. And I swear by this, I just, I need another one. Like, I need a backup because God forbid anything ever happened to this one, I'd freak out. <laughs> like, I already know myself. And I'm using the e.l.f. Blush Brush as one of my favorites. Why I love this is because I can literally pack my brush. But because it's so natural, it goes on so nice. Just watch. This is just my favorite, like blush, no blush, blush, no blush. All right, so next up is the highlighter. So this one is from Thrive Cosmetics, and it's not like super blinding. Okay, so like if you want to pack it on, it can go there, right? And if you use the other one, which is like a white gold, it'll take you there. But this one I love because I feel like on medium skin, it like it just melts into the skin. Like I need to stop talking and show you guys. So I'm going to take a brush like this. This is like a flat brush. And then... Again, you can like go ahead and like pack your brush because it's not going to give you like a streak of light, you know? It's just going to, can you guys see? Hopefully you can. So I'm going to focus this right here in the corner of my eye. And I'm pretty sure you guys can see. I'm also going to add some to my chin. Okay, so now for lashes, everyone's been asking me what they are, and they are from Depth Makeup. This is a style no filter, and they look like this. They are so pretty. They're so pretty. Look at them. 
So they're like spiky enough. They're wispy. They're not fluffy, but they do curl. Um, not a crazy curl. I don't want it too dramatic, but I'm not kidding. This pair is so nice. Okay, I'm back. And look at these lashes. You guys see why they're like the perfect wispy natural lash. I know this is like a little bit... These are a little bit longer than like the Ardell Wispies, and these are definitely more spiky, but I'm obsessed. I love them. They look so, so pretty. They're so comfortable. I don't feel them whatsoever. For lipstick, I'm going to be using these two right here. Now, this is the first time I'm showing them on camera, but I've been wearing these. I love them. They came out April 4th, and I do believe I have their little sheet right here. They are $17. These are called the... Viva Cosmetics new Cremosa Matte Lipstick Line. So this one right here is called Azúcar. And it is so, so pretty already the way it is. And it is like the perfect, like, I can't even explain it. Because it's, it's not like a super true brown. But it's basically what Azúcar looks like once you cook it up a little bit and you're about to make caramel. That's what it looks like. Um, this one right here is Candela. And this is another favorite of mine. I actually like mixing the two. But this is what this one looks like. Now, if you just apply it like that directly, it will come off like a very wearable orange with like a pop of like red in there. But if you just like pat it all over your lips, it just it looks so pretty. And this is like a color that I would see like my tias wear, you know? Like I have family, or actually all my family is in El Salvador. And I just see this color on them. Like this would be so complimentary. And I love this brand, you guys. So if you guys have not checked them out, Check them out. I'm going to put a little bit of azúcar. So, uh, these are so nice. You see how pretty that is? So, it's not like a brown brown. But it's like a, a very skin-like nude. You know? I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put candela on top. And this is what I've been doing. Just patting it. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers. To finish off, I am going to be spraying some of this Ciate Dewy Spritz. It is the prettiest. Like, it is such a pretty, like, setting spray. And this is, like, you can also use it to prime your skin. So I'm just going to, listen, let me get that mist ready. Just on the sides, just where I want more of the highlight to pop. And... This, you guys, is my finished look. Okay, so obviously talking to you guys, like, I take way longer, but I swear I can get this done in, like, 10, 15 minutes tops. It is my go-to right now. All these products work great for me, and yes, I do have oily skin, but honestly, this will last me all day. If I do need to touch up, I always bring this powder with me, and I just touch up, like, my smile lines, like, my nose a little bit. Not that much. I really love, like, the natural glow that my forehead gets, or, like, over time, I love the way my foundation just like sets and like mixes with my natural oils and it just looks prettier you know like more natural but this is basically it this lipstick again is so comfortable it is matte so comfortable and again i just like touch up throughout the day if i need to but they're long lasting they're really really nice you guys go check them out i will leave their link down below you guys know that i'm a, like a die hard supporter of like the brands that i love and truly back me up and their products work like i'm all there for it so i am going to hook you guys up when it comes to that and just letting you guys know the products that i love i do believe that they have a free shipping discount code now i will i don't know what it is right now top of my head but i will list it down below if it's still like available if you guys can still use it but you guys other than that i really want to thank you for all the love and support make sure you guys like this video subscribe and i will see you next time Bye.